Hello, good evening to you. And part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night. 60,000 capacity here. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray. And my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's New Zealand versus France. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an excited match. Now, who can he play it to? Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. It should be! Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. But there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, goal. he's just able to keep him at bay and New finishes season. with a plot. It's a great goal. 1-0 then. This could be the equaliser. And with that, they've... And he's done it! Parity again. A magnificent game unfolding. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. Goal. So underway Four again France. here on the back the of that team. leveller. The and the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Mbappe! Well, good clean catch by the keeper. Hernandez. Well, it's one pass after another. Now Paul Pogba. Can he put them in front? And offside anyway, albeit a tight one. The first official has indicated there will be Can they nudge in front late on here? Time. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And there is the final whistle. An evenly contested game. And both teams will have to be content with a point here on match day one, Stuart. Well, the draw was just about the right result, but the focus has to be on the next game now. Both sides will be looking for their first win, otherwise they could be playing catch-up. Hello and welcome to the Alpine Stadium here in the northern Qatari city of Alcorn. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And both teams with one game each under their belt already. Let's see how they fare this time around. It's New Zealand against Denmark. Well, Derek, a draw last time out was a decent result, but they need to back that up now with a win in front of these fans. If they can, that would be a good start for them. Chris Wood, good-looking ball. Not the best clearance. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. Number eight. Now can they make something happen? And there the attack ends for now. Sharpreet Singh. Cleared away. Really good high press. It has to be. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, here it is again, and when you clear the ball, you have to get height and distance on it to give your defence time to readjust. They don't do that, it's a poor clearance, and suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. 2-0 now, and back underway. A very effective challenge put in. Good-looking pass. 
Real chance. Is it going to be a goal? And it seems they're truly cruising to victory here. Well, as you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a play he is. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Can he put it away? There it is! A fantastic goal, and no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Well, the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So back underway here, into the second half. One advantage with them, referee says play on. This time, however, it will be a free kick. Could pull one back here. Well, given the position he found himself in, he really should be testing the keeper. Superb opportunity squandered. It's neat passing. Can he take the chance? Well, really fine goalkeeping. Good diving stop. And time for the change now. Not the best clearance. A foul, but advantage played. Trolled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp. Now this could really lift spirits. Oh, another goal! You just cannot keep them down, and it sets up a furious finish. Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. So making the substitution now. Goal. And the ball is moving again. 3-2. Christian Eriksen. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. The as far as stoppage time is concerned, three minutes, three minutes here. Three minutes of heaven time. Delaney, Kasper Dolberg. And the final whistle is sounded. It has gone to plan for them. They get the win Thanks they were looking for here, Stuart. Well done. It was a tight game. Both sides had their the moments and chances. But overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory. Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And two games in the books already for these two sides, this their final group stage test. It's New Zealand, and they take on Tunisia. Well, these teams know they cannot afford to drop points today. It's so important that they are consistent throughout the group stages if they want to progress further in the tournament. Should be tense, Derek. Aysa Laiduni. Sliti. In position. And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. Goal. And back on the way, 1-0 it is. For Yanni Sassi. Can he take advantage? <laughs> and he takes it on, and it's a goal! Level again! What a match this is turning out to be! Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? So back underway, following the equaliser. New Zealand, number eight. And Skiri. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Now a decent position. Must take the lead here. And a goal!
Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. Goal. Well, back on the way as he reflects on the goal that's made it 2-1. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45. So the two teams have switched around, and the second half is underway. Is this the moment? Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? The scoreline. Stuart, give us your take. This could be the equaliser, and a fantastic diving save. Well, they've decided to make a change. Just the clearance that was called for. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Well, finally, the whistle had to be sounded. The fifth and official one minute of stoppage time has been added on. And Chris Wood, surely the equaliser. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. There it is, the final whistle. Disappointment in the camp because it goes into the box as a defeat, Stuart. Well, Gary, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is they bounce back now and they can't afford a repeat performance. Hello, excitement in the air, and welcome to this round of 16 contest here at the 2022 World Cup. My name is Derek Ray, and alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building up, what a game this promises to be. It's New Zealand versus Poland. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here, but whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. Chance to finish. Tremendous defending to stonewall him. Can he finish? And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Well, I won't get tired of watching this. It's an outstanding bit of play. Just look how far he runs with the ball. That's a great goal. goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? And a tidy ball. And he's made headway. Clears it away. And here's Chris Wood. Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play, offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. So underway again, and a 2 0 advantage here. Great opportunity. Well, flinging himself at it. Sharpreet Singh. The in position, tenacious tackling, excellent defending there, and throwing himself at the ball. Just wanted to get it out of there. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Please note, Mr. Moon is in the building. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Opportunity here. And it goes! The lead just gets bigger. Surely they can't let this slip now. Well, you have to admire this bit of play. Just look how he runs with the ball. He always looked in control, didn't he? That's a brilliant goal. Three goals without reply. New Zealand, number 19. Oh, a vital interception. Mm -hmm. 
Singh. Can he put it in? Oh, a powerful effort. Close. There has it. They've created so many chances with some brilliant attacking play. I think they've looked an outstanding team today. The first and just one minute of time added on for stoppages. And the referee blows for full time. They've made it through to the last eight of the World Cup. Yeah, it doesn't come much easier than that, does it? I thought they played well, and it was an excellent overall performance, particularly going forward. They'll certainly be confident going into the next round. Hello, a very good evening to you. This is the scene here at the Lusail Stadium, just to the north of the Doha city centre. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you this World Cup quarter-final. It's New Zealand versus the Netherlands. Yes, cheers, Derek. Well, what an occasion it is for this club and its supporters. These are the games that they dream of. No doubt in there, the underdogs. But if they can frustrate their opponents, stay in the game up until half-time, you just never know. Hopefully we get a great cup tie and maybe even a massive surprise. Steven Berghaus might really be able to trouble them here. Season the referee season allowing season advantage season to approve to them. Oh my goodness! He's got them so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box. Just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. Goal. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant New strike. Zealand. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Will it be? And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. 2-0 now and back underway. New Zealand. Steven Bergwijn. Goalkeeper has it. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Coming up half time, don't forget, we'll be having the lucky raffle. And also, don't forget the lucky program draw. So the two teams have switched around, and the second half is underway. Cash. The five. De Jong. Perfectly fair tackle, and it will be a corner. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. In it goes to alter the arithmetic and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Goal. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So back underway at 2 1. Tight contest here. Clean challenge. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Oh, a powerful effort. Close. And time for the change now. They controlled the tempo of the game and just about deserved their lead, but they've got to keep their concentration the right to the end here. There is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Effort from long distance. And the final whistle is sounded. Progression is assured. They'll be taking part in the semi-finals. Yes, it's a close contest, but one I think they just about deserve to win. They did play the more creative football. They did try and press the ball high up the field when they could, and they showed good energy. They certainly need those qualities going forward. It's fair to say that tension levels have been heightened as we get ready for this semi-final here at the 2022 World Cup. My name is Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And a special atmosphere for this very special contest. It's New Zealand against Brazil. Well, the visitors may be heavy favourites to get to the final, but this has the makings of a classic cup game because the hosts have a well-drilled defensive unit, are athletic when they're pressing the ball, and are threatening at set plays. It should be a good game, Derek. 
Now, who can he play it to? Oh, wonderful goalkeeping! Well, you have to say, from that sort of distance, that's a wonderful save. Giving it a try. And what a magical save it was! And a goal! The opener in the semi-final! First goal of the contest! Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So they get the ball moving again. Can Brazil come up with an answer here? Chris Over the top in the direction of Gabriel Jesus. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Top class defending. Lot. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen so far? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going at half-time if it stays like this. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. With the club secretary, please note, Mr Moon has left the building. And the ball rolling again. Brazil trailing after the first half. Can they find a response here in the second? Not getting anxious when they have the ball. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. This could be the equaliser. High echelon goalkeeping there. Really good high press. Silva. Well, they get themselves level here. And the keeper did more than enough. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Possession one. Here's Chris Wood. And a goal! How about that? As they increase their advantage. And who's to say they won't be going to the final at this rate? Well, here's the replay. What a superb volley this is. He strikes it so cleanly, and he times it perfectly. For New Zealand. And a substitution in the offing. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Rafinha. Gabriel Jesus. Vinicius. Not finished yet. Not quite yet. Still excitement left in the game. Well, as you can see, he gets everything right here. What a skillful volley that is. So uh, back underway. Intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. And now for a throw in, just misfiring with the pass. And there goes the whistle. Music to the ears of all their fans. They finally come and made it through to the World Cup final. Well, they came into this as the underdogs, but they played brilliantly today. They fully deserved their win. They had such a good game plan, both with and without the ball, and they stuck to it. Now they can look forward to a wonderful occasion in the final. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's New Zealand, and they take on Belgium. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Now, let's see what they can do here. Surely! The opening goal in the final! And how important 
could that be as a direction pointer? Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. goal. So the match is restarted. 1 0 here. Number nine, Chris Wood. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? This could level it. Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed, and the dream remains very much alive. Well, here it is again, and it's a very good finish. He knows exactly what he wants to do, and he has the skill to back it up. Goal it's an excellent goal. For Belgium. So Number in business nine. once more, on Number the back of that very Marcus. important equaliser. 1-1. One, one. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. May I please remind you that racism will not be tolerated in any form. The defenders will be removed from the stadium. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Well, that ball looks promising. Oh, it's a goal! A celebratory moment as they jump in front. Well, here it is again. First to the ball, clever header and a good finish. He's done really well there. So the action underway again. And the onus is on Belgium to come up with a response now. Chris Wood. And back with Meunier. Is this the moment? And gobbled up by Courtois. Certain no one is leaving because it's still close. This could square the game, and that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. Oh, Hans Van Aken! Oh, I can't believe it! Twists and turns in the closing stages, and it's anyone's guess who's going to lift the trophy. Incredible! Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. Goal so, one way again, and two all. Number 17. Well, that's it for the 90 game. minutes. But this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Well, the ball rolling again here. The first period of extra time. And you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Carrasco. Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. Can they forge ahead? Well, that attack going up a dead end. And the keeper has the ball. Half time in extra time. And still they are level. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Well, the second period of extra time commences. What drama do we have in store for us? They're on the scent of a winner late in this game. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Can he put them in front? Oh, a goal! And how important could that be? Maybe it's a story of one hand on the trophy at this stage of the final. A huge moment. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's Goal. a great strike. Well, a dramatic Zealand. moment near the end, Number and that nine. might well be the Chris decider. Wood. And now it's all over, and they can truly celebrate. Because listen to this, they've won the World Cup and they've done it with style as well. They've been absolutely superb throughout the tournament and they fully deserved it today.